my luxury wish list for 2024. Okay, it's that time of the year again where I come on here and share with you guys my luxury wish list for 2024. Guys, honestly, I want for nothing. I don't want anything. I feel as though I got my bargain. Like, what else do I really want? So, by virtue of that, nothing else on this list is going to be huge and nothing is going to be too crazy out there. And yeah, but before we get started, to my fellow YouTubers, my subscribers, my friends, Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload videos once or twice a week covering a wide variety of topics. We are slowly becoming like a fashion only channel here. I do have lots of vlog, I just don't get around to uploading as much. And I know these fashion slash luxury videos are in high demand, so I tend to focus more on these right now. But hopefully I'll go back to vlogging. If that's something you guys would like, just let me know below so I can, you know, and to feel what my audience wants and so I can deliver it for you guys. So today we'll be sharing my 2024 luxury wish list. Seven items that I may buy in 2024. Like I said, I really don't want anything. If I don't buy these items, I'll be fine. Like, no issues. I'll be fine, 100%. So the first item is the Chanel slingbacks, the beige and black slingbacks. And the only reason why this is on my radar is because my Chanel ballet flats got too small for me. I'm not even sure why because it was a size 39 and I've always been a size 40. But for some reason I bought a size 39, what, five years ago? More. Before, more than five years ago. Before I had them before I got married. So I would say maybe at least six years ago and um, after having kids my feet just increased a little bit and I just cannot. I wore them the other day in New York City and literally my feet were killing me in flats. So I've sold them off. Thank you, Vestier Collective. If you want to check out my items at Vestier, you can check out a link below. I'll put it in the link below, but I find better outcomes shelling at Vestier Collective than in doing on eBay or the real world. So, Vestier Collective hooked me up and I was able to get a good buyer for that shoe. So because of that, I now have a void in my closet where I still like to dual, you know, look where you have black and beige, but I don't have any shoes in that color or specification so instead of buying the same shoe over and over again I figured I'll go different this time I'll get these sling bags pointy toe and with a little bit of a heel and it has a little Chanel CC embossed at the bottom yeah so that's the first item again nothing in this wish list is actually that serious because um, I don't have any jewelry I don't have anything major because I got my work in so it's like mm -hmm. Second item is a pair of Tiffany pearls. I do want a pair of Tiffany pearl earrings and necklace. I saw one that I really liked. The pearls about three hundred and seventy-five dollars for a set. Freshwater pearls and the necklace pendants is a little under, I think. So I've been considering it because I do have a lot of pearls, but most of my pearls are like faux pearls, and I want to have a pair of actual real pearls. I like that. That's the only jewelry item here that I'm considering and I think that it'll go perfectly with my wardrobe because you guys know she loves pearls like pearl headband. What are you talking about? <laughs> so yeah, that's it. And then the third item is a Louis Vuitton loop bag. It's a small bag. It's like half moon, like half crescent. Is it the loop or hobo? Whatever the name is, I'll put it here. But it's a good everyday bag. I've been using my pochette for years and that pochette's like ripping in half. Um, I also have been using my Damier Bean little pochette thing that comes in the LV bag. But the problem is that it only has one hook. So even if, I, even if I've been putting like a chain from Hobby Lobby on it, I can only loop it in a funny way. So this loop bag actually has a handle and a loop. So. I think it's perfect for going to get my nails done, having d drinks with friends at a local bar, having drinks at, a, at the country club, like nothing too serious, just perfect for every day and that's what I want it for. Low priority, low priority, but if I do, I do need like an everyday bag, an everyday small bag because I have my everyday big bags, my long shop that I used to, you know, go around with the kids every day and run around like crazy. And um, I may ha add a black long shop into the mix because I have purple and I have the brown and I probably may just get a black or white. We'll see. But I digress. Yeah, that LV bag, very small, nothing major, nothing that serious. Hopefully still available. It's perfect for everyday running around. So that's the third item on my 2024 luxury wish list. The fourth I item is the Tom Ford Lock sandals. White. I don't have a pair of white sandals. 
and I like the gold heels. I've been liking these heels for a very long time. I think they're very sexy. And um, after getting my Dolce sandals with the D and G, I was just like, okay. The next one that I want that's similar to this, I don't want to get the white version of that. Instead, I would like to get the Tom Ford version of that with the gold heel and then with a gold padlock. Whoo, cha! And you know, I have that Hermes belt, the Kelly Lock belt that has the little lock on it. Ooh, those two go perfectly together. So, now that's a bit on the pricey side. It's priced at Manolo Blahnik levels. And I'm, I'm like, what? Why does it have to be? But it is. So I can stalk it for a couple of months and I'll see if I can get it on sale, if I can use a certain point somewhere to get them. Sure. But I think that's probably next to the LV bag is probably the most pricey in this wish list. I'm like, Tom Ford, why? But it's sexy, it's classic, it's simple, it's elegant, it's understated, and it's what I like. The next item is the red paint Dolce & Gabbana sling bags. I really didn't care much about sling bags until I got my Ferragamo sling bags two years ago and they're like my every date, not a date night, but if a girlfriend wants to meet me for a quick drink somewhere, super easy to put on. I find them now to be sexy. I find them to be very grown. I find them to be very interesting and they actually elongate your calf and make your ankles look skinny. I know. What? So I tried it on. My essay gave it to me to try on when I was trying on my dress, my um, Dolce & Gabbana on a leopard print dress that I got for my birthday. And I'm like, I like the heel. It's like the perfect four inch heel. I like the sling back. It's patterned red. I don't have any bright red shoe. I do. I do have the Bergen de Stian Louboutin Miguel heels, which have now been destroyed because I walked in cobblestone on them. Literally, the little heel cap is missing. It's like, so I was literally walking on steel. Yeah, I need to get that fixed. But I also have like a fiery orangey red Jimmy Choo, but it's not the same. So, that's where that will come in for when I'm going for that shock back factor, that bright red boom in your face. And the next item is very similar to that, is number six in my wish list. And it's a print print, I know, again, Dolce & Gabbana, I know, again, I'm in my Dolce era, bear with me. Patent leather sling bags. Now, do I have this beauty here? Absolutely. It's awesome, she is great, but... You can't wear this anywhere, guys. This is just for photo ops. Like, where are you gonna wear this to? Especially now after giving birth. And this is a size 40. I size up in silk eight, but I'm never getting rid of this shoe. The shoe is super, super, super ultra sexy. So the Dolce & Gabbana version will be patent, where this is calf. Obviously, it won't have the red bottom, but it will have a sling back, and then it will have D and G here, I believe. I tried it on, it's very nice. It's going to go perfect with my Birkin. It's going to go perfect in an all white outfit as the perfect touch. I do have the Giuseppe ones um, that are patent and just a little calf hair, but they don't hit as much as I want them to. Um, and it's like a really kitten heel, but the Dolce & Gabbana ones are really high. So I guess I'm getting back into shoes. I kind of like their clear shoe, but I think the reason is because after having kids, my shoe size kind of like changed a little bit so um, I'm now having to rediscover the shoes that I have fall in love with them all over again and the ones that don't fit me um, I have to sell them and I think I've sold like three pairs of shoes this year I know I sold a pair of Giuseppe shoes I sold a pair of my Chanel ballet flats and another pair that I cannot immediately think of so there is that and then the last item is something that has been on and off on my wish list and i haven't quite decided for a long time but i think i'm probably going to pull the plug next year if i do and i think it's just a white bomb on blazer i think that's simply because for two reasons one i've always wanted it for forever but that's not a real reason but one i tried off a knockoff like a dupe it was this website. I've bought suit separates from them before and they were fine and they had the double breasted pattern deal and I was like, oh, I could do that. You know, it's giving balm on, but it's not really balm on. And I tried it on. Girl, those buttons were as thin as a quarter, okay? The buttons were thin. It wasn't fitting right. The shoulder pads were off. The sizing was odd. I got a size 10. My boobs were popping the buttons open. I had to return it for a size 12. It was just whack. So, you know me. If you're gonna do it, do it right. I got my bomb on blazer six years ago and I'm still rocking it. So that and then the second thing is with my Birkin, I need to respect the Birkin. So I can't be wearing my Birkin with some 
you know, run in the mill old blazer. If it's given boss lady, then we gotta go all the way out. She's 40, with two kids, a husband, a house, and a business. She doesn't have time for that. So that's my vibe, and that's why I think I'm gonna get the bomb on blazer. I'm just waiting for Luisa Villaroma to have a really good sale, like 50% off plus 20% off plus free shipping, or I can get it for like $200. Um, then I'll get it. Otherwise, I'll just keep putting it off, but nothing quite compares to it. I think it's such a classic, and I think it'd be perfect to wear actually with the structured white blood bomb on blazer. Imagine that with my Dolce & Gabbana dress. What? Yeah. So those are the seven items on my wish list for 2024. I think that these items are a little more understated. There's no Van Cleef in there. I did want the holiday pendant, but I was like, holiday pendant? or Birkin. It was a no-brainer. So I am taking a break from Van Cleef for a while. Like I said, the last time I bought the, this um, Van Cleef bracelet, I'm so happy with my collection. But everything else is just shoes to replace XYZ outfits here and there, an everyday bag, pearls for like when I need to wear a pearl, but I don't want to wear a pearl from like, I don't know, Express or something. I want to wear actual real pearls and something I can keep and pass down to my daughter. And yeah, those are the items that I'm thinking about for 2024. Most of them are not gonna materialize and that's okay. It just provides a, a benchmark to help guide my purchases, to help guide my thoughts, and to help guide, make sure I'm working accordingly down the wish list. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me if there are any items on your radar. Of course, I do have my endless Birkin and Kelly on my wish list. I will do a separate video about my updated 2024 wish list. And guys, just a hint, just the items that are there are not items that I could quickly easily get. So I'm probably not going to get a call from my sales associate probably till 2025. And that's okay. It's very okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what your 2024 luxury wish list is. If you like these items, if you have any concerns about them, I just want to hear from you guys. And I love hearing from you guys. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at it's in an A. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> and also, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year, guys.